Hi everyone, it's Simon Killing here at weatherweb.net. It's Saturday the 3rd of January. Thanks again for watching. And we've got some warming taking place in the stratosphere at the moment. Um, a little bit like the last winter event which took place late November, uh, early December. It's um, not exactly textbook, but there is some warming taking place nonetheless. And I think it will lead to some cold weather down the line. Um, this is the temperature for 10 millibars, so very high up in the atmosphere as of 6 o'clock this morning. And you notice uh, here that we've got two areas of warmth, split warming. We've got one here, we've got one here out in the uh, Atlantic. Knock that forward by 24 hours and um, quite a warm event um, has taken place. We're looking here at temperatures getting up minus 15 in here. We've got minus 15 in here. Remember these are at um, 10 millibars. So it's quite a warm in there. And that feature is still there, look, uh, across Greenland and across northeastern parts of Canada by uh, Thursday. And by then, uh, central temperatures are around minus 5, so it really has warmed up significantly. And by next Sunday, the 11th, still evidence of the warming here and here. By Wednesday the 14th, predicted to be across Europe. And we use a rule of thumb of around 14 to 21 days down the line once warming has begun. Uh, for us to see cooler weather coming through at the surface, if that's going to happen. Many factors need to come into play in order for cold weather to occur, but you'll know from our January forecast that we've been talking about the second half of January being colder, and we highlighted from around the 19th, 20th onwards as uh, turning cool. I think we might need to bring that forward a little bit, perhaps the 18th or 19th. Um, this is the CFS prediction from... Uh, tropicaltidbits.com from the 2nd of January through to the 7th of January and um, here's the ridge that's over us or close to us for the next few days. Look, jet streams starting to strengthen out in the Atlantic then day 6 to 10 showing a real strengthening here with a jet stream coming across the Atlantic, low the normal heights to the north, higher than normal to the south, starting to block out here across Scandinavia. That uh, sets the scene for some windy and pretty wet weather, particularly in western areas of the country. I think that'd be quite a contrast west to east through the course of the week. And then days 11 to 15 showing the ridge building off in the States. What that does is it then enables some real cold air combined with this cold air coming off the pole to shoot down into the Atlantic here. Strengthens the jet even further. And what that does is it pushes the jet stream south. So pushing it southwards all the time, it takes it into uh, central parts of Europe, puts us on firmly on the cold side of the jet. And although there's still low pressure running through here, what that may well do during this period, if that came true, would be to send the lows to the south, a tendency more towards easterly winds. In fact, quite similar track on these lows to the one that's passed through us during today. Um, drags in the easterlies as they move through, turns things uh, more wintry and uh, increases the risk of snow. And then day 16 to 20, look, still got this ridge across the states. It's still pumping the cold air to the south, low the normal heights across and to the south of the UK. So the jet confirmed as being south of us. And this is why I think that um, the, the start of the cold air is predicted by the CFS mid-month. As I say, I'm thinking more sort of the 18th, 19th, so during this period. And I think what we would find is that it's not a settled period of cold weather, but it's a mixed period of cold weather. And I think that increases the possibility of us seeing snow. I stress this isn't the tabloid snow. This isn't 1947 or 1963. You know, that sort of nonsense, that rubbish that we've been reading. And I dread to think what um, some of the more official news or forecasts and outlets may come up with about this. But anyway, if it comes off. Um, but anyway, um, it looks as if it's uh, cooler and uh, the potential for snow in there as well. And that snow risk persists as well. This is the 27th to the, to the sorry, the 22nd to the 27th of January. Look, big ridge across the states, pumping down this cold air, maintaining the uh, jet south of the country during this period, and again pointing towards wintry conditions. But if you then look at the output actually from the CFS, the temperature output, this is the prediction for 45 days. And look, you see that fall off in temperature here, taking us into the middle part of the month, and just getting into the very end of January before temperatures tending to come up once again. I suspect this whole area here is shifted a little bit further towards the right like so. So it actually probably begins more in here and it ends more uh, in here. So we're looking at this period I think highlighted from about the 15th through to the 1st of February and as I say my, my real area for the cold is the 18th, 19th of January. 
Of course, that's if it comes true. Um, just for the next few days, this is today. There's our low look zipping through during the course of the day. High pressure building tonight. Widespread sharp frost on the cards for all of us. High pressure over us tomorrow. Lots of sunshine around for many. Although more cloud western Scotland, southwest England, western Ireland. High pressure still towards the south on Monday, but more of a southwesterly breeze. That's going to bring low cloud and some drizzle uh, to many of us, particularly western and southern coast, seeing that. Cold front edges in on Tuesday, finally clears eastwards through the course of Tuesday. Brighter, cooler conditions following from the west. And then for Thursday, cold front finally clears away down towards the south. Brighter for all of us, cooler for all of us as well. Showers across the northern and western coast of Scotland. And I'll just leave you with this. The GFS Ensemble temperature prediction. Uh, this is for Birmingham, quite representative of the whole of the country though. This is for 15 days and just look, there's those sort of roller coaster temperatures for the next few days. Then it starts to see things going cooler from about the 13th onwards and this gradual decline in temperature look taking place. So this GFS Ensemble picking up on that as well. But again, I think this date is a little bit early. I suspect it's going to be up here somewhere before we uh, see notably cooler weather coming in. So just a reminder, don't jump up and down all over this saying, oh, Simon says it's going to be cold, you're going to snow again, there's going to be heaps of snow, it's going to be winter, it's going to be wonderful. Um, no, what I'm saying at the moment is it looks like it'll go cooler, it looks like we could get a hit of winter coming in from sort of mid-January onwards. The early signs are there, although not all the building blocks are in place just at the moment, but certainly I think uh, the chances of things becoming cooler have significantly increased. Okay, I'll leave you with that for now, but thanks again for watching. Don't forget to tell your friends about weatherweb.net and whatever you're doing, have a great day and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.